What is up, navigation traders? What a morning it was for me today, and hopefully the same can be said for you because I had four big winners and called out several other winners that uh, hopefully some of you jumped in. But let's take a look. Plus $1,937. I did go a little longer than normal, but that's because of the price action. Had two volume runners, Netflix plus 625, Roku plus 447, two continuation runners, Apple 230, and Tesla at 635. And I missed a couple too. So I went ahead, I made a big screen here today just so I could show you. So I started off with um, Netflix. Um, type it in here. Okay, so Netflix, um, this one was a little interesting. Um, had a big volume bar here. It's the first one I got in, and when it pulled back to here, um, I went ahead and got uh, got long, and it came up here, and it, it I got out of half right up here at the top, and it came back down, and then it came back down some more, and right in about here, Somewhere like I didn't want it to go through here, but it did. So so somewhere like right in here, I added to it, hoping it would come down and bounce back up. But then it flushed down. But everything else was going up, so I just held on to it. And I kind of played this second one like a, like a second position. I thought, well, maybe it'll come down to this pivot and bounce. And uh, uh, while everything was getting really strong, I just held this Netflix. And it just slowly started to go up, and I just stayed patient. And um, let's see, I ended up, oh, I probably got out of half uh, somewhere up in here where I added it five bucks down in here. And it got out at 555, which was close to my original entry. So, so I had to wait, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. About 35 minutes or so before I finally got out of half of that ad. And then it did this and kind of just chopped. And then, boom, it took off. And that's where I started to scale out um, after these two big pushes. Um, I got out at 575 and then got out at 620. And uh, it started to pull back here. And I think I ended up getting out right in here. So just cut it. So good winner there. Then I did Roku, and Roku was great. I probably could have taken more from Roku. Well, maybe not here. It's kind of sagging. So again, same thing here. Nice volume bar. Um, got in on this pullback. Uh, it pulled back right back to here. I got in, so low risk. And then it just popped up, and I got out of half. And then I just scaled out of all my positions. I don't even know. I think somewhere up here, about up here, is where I finally cut my last contract. But I mean, I got in at 236, got out at 260, 285, 315, 335. My last contract was 360. So exactly what you want to have in an upside volume runner. Uh, Apple was a continuation runner. Oh, first off, uh, well, let me show you Apple. Microsoft was one I really wanted in, but I was not able to get in that one, but I was able to get in Microsoft. I'm sorry, Apple. So, come on. Let me see if I can show you. Okay. Here's Microsoft. This is what I wanted to do. Big push up. Everything's getting strong. It's it, it's it's just chopping. I tried getting long right here. You can see what it did. So Apple looked very similar. Here we go. So big push up here. It's kind of started to chop. And then when it came down to here, I noticed it bounced. It came back down. I got in right here. And then uh, just scaled out as it came up. And uh, I think I eventually, let's see, eventually got out. I think I got out like it started to come down. I think I just cut it out, cut my losses right here, right in here somewhere. 
So nice, uh, 230 bucks. But that Microsoft one would have been a lot bigger. And then Tesla. So Tesla, let's see, I did a continuation runner. It kind of was chopping and then it pushed up and then it chopped. And um, let's see. I got in Tesla, I think right about, uh, I think here. I think, when it, I think right about here I jumped in. Uh, and then it pushed up. Then it started to pull back. And I, I added to it. I think I added to it like right in here. So, no, that wasn't it. Let me see here. Hold on. Bear with me. Because I went a little bit longer. Might have got into Tesla. I got into Tesla right in here. Somewhere in here. No, actually, you know what it was? Let's see, what time was it here? I got into it late. Okay, okay, I know where it was. Yeah, help me out by looking at these times. Okay, so I got into it right away, like on this little pullback, and then it went against me so i got in like at 555 here and then it went against me and i got in at five bucks uh i added to it like down here and then it started to take off and i got i that's what i got out of, i got out of half at 555 that's right because i got in at four contracts here and then i added four contracts down here and then i got out of four contracts so essentially where i got in my original that's what it was so I got in about 555 and got out about 555, but that ad was a good ad. And then it just took off and I scaled out 625, 665, and then it started to come down a little bit and I just bailed at 645 with my last couple contracts. So you can see that was good, good out. So, uh, and you know, normally I, I probably don't take this. It, it was close to 9.30. Like I said, I was about 9.20 when I took it. But everything was getting strong, and Tesla was one of the stronger stocks, and so that's why I got in. So glad that I did because it ended up being a 6.35, and I haven't had it this big in a while. I almost hit 2K. So anyway, I uh, hope you had a real profitable day as well. Uh, I will see everybody back tomorrow. Talk to you later. Peace.